inflatable Christmas tree. <laughs> Get it unplugged. as the air slowly leaks out of it. Sorry, Santa. Until Christmas next year. Okay, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Got the spikes out. Poor Santa, all deflated. There's a spike over there I can't get, and this one, the string is stuck in there. I can't find it. I have to dig, I think, now to get it back in the box. Interesting. So, I just talked to Mom on the phone and she said to uh, hang up the Christmas tree. And instead of doing that, I'm going to put it in the basement the front for a couple of days. And that should dry it out. It may not stand up because I don't have... <laughs> There's no weight to hold it. That might not be a good plan. Hmm. Plan B. Alright. Focus. Why do you not focus? So, the roof is low enough, it's going to hold the whole thing up. So, we'll leave that running for a couple days. And uh, Santa. will dry out. Because um, apparently has a drinking problem. Speaking of problems, I have a static home problem. So my hairdresser did my hair yesterday and she straightens it really well. The thing is, it's so dry here that I have no control over the... So, yeah, that done. Now over to the parents' place to help them with some issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can turn your head sideways see the whole thing. You still can't get it all in there. Here and say hi. <laughs> Get in a cage. Boop. Boop. What's going on? What do you see? You need some birds to fly by, don't ya? Let's see what the temperature is. Look at that. It's like plus two. It's beautiful out. Which would explain why you're out here. And not just sticking your nose through the door, right? Oh, kitty butt. Kitty butt. Alright, guys, I just thought of something I need to talk to you about because one of my videos a couple of videos ago in early December, I was talking about walking the fences for where my horses are. And I should do this up before I. Oh. I can't find the hole. That's what she said. Oh, that's what he said, I guess. Alright, here. I'm hot. It is quite warm today. Um, anyway, my mare, who was starting to fail, she was 32. Um, and this summer she was doing really, really, really well, but she was not wintering well. And on the 17th, she died. She, I, we had been discussing whether to put her down or what to do and she took that decision out of our hands and um, she passed away really quickly um, so yeah 
I am now down to one horse and I may be down to no horses soon because someone has made me an offer for Blue, her colt, who is 14 now. But he's never been trained to do anything other than keep his mom company, um, get his feet done, go on a halter, that kind of stuff. Because about the time he was supposed to get trained, he had um, distemper. So we had to isolate him from all other horses and he just never went back to get his training. So I might go from two horses to no horses um, it would help out financially um, because I wouldn't have that expense every month but it's still a hard decision to make so I've been thinking hard about it for the last oh, when did I get that email December 28th so I have been thinking about it I haven't discussed it with a lot of people um, but what can you do I don't know if that's focused Welcome to Tim Hortons. My name is Georgie. How may I help you? Hi. Large ice cap, please. A large? Yes. Okay. Anything else for you? No, that's everything. Do you want a shot in that ice cap? Uh, uh, a what? <laughs> oh, you get like a flavor shot, like hazelnut, vanilla, chocolate syrup, caramel, no. mint chocolate? Just plain. Okay. No problem. And that's everything? Yep. Okay. That's three thirty-nine. Please have your payment ready at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. No, no. Busy, but not too busy. Let's see if she notices the camera sitting on the front dash. Oh, I'm so hot. I shouldn't have wore an extra jacket. <laughs> Minus two used to be cold, uh, or plus two was cold. Now plus two is hot, and I'm sweaty. Ick. <laughs> you? You know what makes them look so good? I got three dollars left on my this cap. Or my Tim's card, I should say. That's been a lot of requests for ice caps. Usually doesn't take this long. Thank you. Get busy talking. down at the end of the street. That is the multi-sports complex that is supposed to be open in 2014. So looking forward to that. And it seems to be coming along well. I don't know how much of that you can see. I don't know if I can zoom in. Is he trying to see it? Now he loosen it in the trees. Alright, turn. Don't slide off the dash. <laughs> Alright. Now that you're crooked, where you're pointing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, on my way. Had to make a stop, a pit, a pit stop at Tim's. Because I deserve a nice cat. I really like a nice cat, but I haven't had one in weeks. I mean, you can't remember the last time you had an ice cap. Apparently, you need to have one. Would you say? I would say so. Um, I'll show it to you in just a minute because it looks so good. This is a lumpy road. It's got all kinds of snow on it. Let's get to a stop in front of mom and dad's. Alright, look at this. It is full to the top. Usually a lot of times it's down here. So because they were busy chatting, I think I got extra. <laughs> 
Yeah.